Today we are here at the Star for uniform fittings. It would be such an honor to be able to represent this organization by wearing that uniform. This is probably the day I've been looking forward to the most. I did not get any sleep at all. <laughs> this is the first time the rookie candidates get to put the uniform on. This is one of those dream come true moments. This is, for some, the equivalent of trying on wedding dresses for the first time. Today, it's the first time I really get to talk to the girls one-on-one. -on -one. You get to see some personalities, and how diverse this group is. What's in your Ancestry.com? My dad was from Trinidad and Tobago, and my mom is Italian. I, I got, for sure, the Italian, like, appetite. Oh. Interesting. German, Irish, and English. Nigerian, French, and then that 4% Asian, I was like, yes! Mm -hmm. This is our time and opportunity to talk with her one-on-one. -on -one. And the fact that she wants to get to know me a little bit more than what she just sees on the surface is a blessing. Today's about your uniform. Oh my gosh, let's put it on. We are working with Lisa, our Here seamstress. <laughs> Thank you. This uniform is 47 seasons into its lifespan. It's a symbol of sports, pop culture, and entertainment. It's a symbol of excellence, and it's celebrated in the Smithsonian Museum. Cat! Feel good? Yeah, it's so crazy. <laughs> Key areas for a perfect fitting Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders uniform are the bust line, the waist, and how the shorts wrap around the thighs and have proper coverage. Bend over, touch your toes. She's good. In uniform, yes, we try, that's almost nude, but we try a little bit more. You're gonna have to fight me to take this off because it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Lily, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, do you feel better this year? Last year was I feel much more like secure in myself and like I have my head on my shoulders this year. Last time I put this on was almost a year ago, so I've been thinking about this moment. It's amazing motivation to like feel it back on your body. It makes it feel more real. Let's start with the bra. You've got like a bombshell on. Mm -hmm. This was the year of the bad bras. You can't feel me, can you? Knock, knock. <laughs> We don't need flotation devices in their bras. No pads, you? I mean, just a normal padded bra. <laughs> <laughs> That's not normal. It's not? We usually kind of have to de-pad them to make sure that we're making a blouse and a vest that fit them properly. Yeah. You may be exploding out. OK. I just want the uniform to fit as well as it can so that we're keeping it classy on the football field. Today's been make your boobs huge day. <laughs> weird seeing somebody from New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> so I know you do fitness and dance, but mm -hmm. is it something you'd want to do as a career? If I were to make it, I'm going until my body's done dancing. Seeing yourself in the uniform reminds you how much you want this and how much you need to work to get it. So how do your parents feel about this? My mom calls me nonstop, which is, it's great. I need my mom there. She's just a little sad because she is a huge like Steelers it. fan. Tell your mother that Terry Bradshaw lives around here. I never thought that I would have the courage or confidence to be here today, and I'm super excited for this journey.